workouts are really working out for me. No time for exercise, Lila. We told Dr. Merriweather that we'd bring all these easy wootsy squeezy easy softy wafty animals out to the lawn for the adoptathon. Tiny power animal. Uh, forgetting something, Polly? Oh, I just want to cuddle you forever and ever! <laughs> Snap out of it, Polly! We're almost nearly about to be late! We won't be late, Shawnee. I have the genius idea of bringing all the tiny animals out at once instead of taking ten trips with big animals. Tiny power! Dr. Merriweather! Oh. Where'd you girls come from? <laughs> Good joke, Doc. As if we didn't just walk out of here like regular-sized people would. <laughs> well, I have lots to do in the barn. You girls have it covered out here? Yep, we promised to find the best homes for all these animals. Look, I created an app to match adopters to their perfect animal. All they have to do is input the adopter's info, and my app will pair them up. Smart! The adoptathon begins now. Being a banana salesman can be lonely work. Having a pet monkey would really brighten my travels. Likes climbing trees, rope swings, baking banana cream. Ah! Take cover, alien! Um, that's a turtle. An alien disguised as a turtle. Look at those intelligent eyes. I'll take this fine chameleon. Wait, where'd he go? I'll take you home. Tell these nice girls goodbye. 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 This llama isn't up for adoption. Sorry, not available. That one's already claimed. The adopters left? But my app didn't even have time to compute the matches yet. I guess the Adopt-a-thon's a bust. At least Shawnee can give the kitten a home, and I'll take this for you. No need, I got him. I promised Dr. Merriweather that I'd find the best homes for these animals, and my home is where they can be with me. So that's the best. Maybe the best for you, but what about what's best for the animals? Okay, you have a point. She's purring! She loves me! Well, if I can't adopt my workout buddy, then I'd better get to my new Kerpow class and punch out my feelings! Ninja! Howdy. Polly, this is a bad idea, and I think... I think I can't compete with a llama. Oh, Polly Pie, Shawnee, how was the adoptathon? Great, thanks for asking, Dad. Wait, does it smell like cow in here? Um, yeah, I thought I smelled it over there. Maybe Mrs. Pocket got a new air freshener. If your dad can smell a tiny cow, he's going to smell... Ah! Alien! Get it off, get it off, get it off! <laughs> this idea is bad. Terrible. Awful. Um, so bad, I can't even think of another synonym for bad! Breathe, Sean. You just need to get a little perspective. Tiny power! <laughs> See? It's fine and... Horrible! Yep. That is a great synonym for this! The animals are loose and causing chaos! No! Not my old Halloween costumes! Oh, sweet baby llama. Focus, Polly! Focus! Calling Littleton Pizza. Littleton Pizza, what do you want? Mm. One large cheese, extra pepperoni. Mm. Gee, sorry! No pepperoni! How about ground beef? Ah! Oh no, my dad! Go big! Ah, Snakey! Ah, the cow! The cow smell is in here! No way! It smells so good in here! Oh, I could take a nap. No cow smell here, Mr. Pocket! Have a nice day! What the? See, I knew it would all work out. It didn't work out. The animals got out. Gone. Gone. Gone! Oh, llama. Put the llama away. 
way. We have to find those animals. A llama? I must have hit my head. And I must have hit it so hard I don't even remember hitting it. Upload profile picture. Hmm. Well, oh, what sort of silly tiny owl hair filter did Polly turn on? Let's try this again. <gasps> broccoli in my teeth? I haven't even eaten broccoli today. <laughs> oh, oh, let's smell. It's like it's following me. Hmm. The cow! Come on, cow. Let's get moving. Oh. Why'd I waste my time with puns? Ah. Tiny power cow! Ah. Oh, was that a moo? Okay. I can't believe my llama didn't wait here like I asked. Now we're missing her, plus the snake and the turtle. So the plan is put on this costume and lure the turtle. Really, Polly? You think you could put on an old turtle Halloween costume and the turtle will come to you? No, Shawnee. I think you can put on an old turtle Halloween costume and the turtle will come to you. There is still a tiny llama and a full-size snake on the loose. How is the turtle the top priority? It's not, but I dressed up as a turtle for Halloween two years ago, not a llama or a snake. So while I look for them, you'll be pocket-sized luring the turtle. I'm not going anywhere near that alien turtle. What I was supposed to do today was make the technologically advanced app that matched pets with adopters and maybe adopt another pet myself. And I couldn't even do that! It's okay. You don't need to make an app or adopt a pet. The animals have me, and that's all they need. If you're all they need, you can do this on your own. Fine, I will just do it myself. Tiny power! Aw, tiny turtle, I won't hurt you. <laughs> Hi, friendly snake. Llama! You've been in here the whole time? It's good to see you, Llama. But not even you can make me feel good about this. Sorry. You should be adopted by someone who can give you a home where you won't have to worry about getting swallowed whole by a snake. Teeny, call Shawnee. Hello? I'm sorry, Shawnee. I wasn't being a good friend. You're right. Doing what's best for the animals is what I should do. And I really need your help. Well, you're right, too. You weren't being a good friend. But I forgive you. And lucky for you, my app has been thoroughly combing the data all day, and it's just about ready to make some matches. That's great. But I meant, help me with the snake thing. Snake thing? According to my snake research, if you tickle a snake just <laughs> right... <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Shawnee. Match is almost ready. Almost done! Mega matches! Yay! Anye, I accidentally put your address instead of Dr. Merriweather's rescue barn. The doctors are coming here! <laughs> Mr. Pocket, I smelled the cow smell! It's over there! Oh, I knew it! I just received an alert that you have the perfect monkey for me. I sure do. Let me grab him for you. Go big! <sighs> I don't know how I can say goodbye. Ugh. Bye, Llama. Well, it is still commendable to get almost all the animals adopted. Make that all of them. A 100% match? I can't believe it. Guess you're coming home with me, alien turtle buddy. Polly? 
Did you order pizza? <laughs> Observatory. What really goes on in there is so secret, they've codenamed it Area 59. Because it doesn't exist. Nick, you've had a conspiracy theory for everything on this field trip so far. Even the rest stop. Hey, the rest stop Yeti is real. But Area 59 is the biggest cover-up of all. What's the logic there? I think I explain it best on my latest vlog. If I'm right, and there is a secret government agency that deals with the paranormal, Area 59 is their headquarters. Uh. I hear they have an incredibly detailed exhibit of the solar system. Where you'll find the hidden entrance to the underground lab! Ah! Nicholas Wells, stop! What? Did you see a cryptid? There are no cryptids. Nick, have you ever gone a single day without... I bet you can't last this whole trip without talking about conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it, but you gotta make it worth my effort. If I win, you all have to watch the brand new six-hour docu-series on the secrets of Littleton Airport. Okay, but if you lose, we get to watch the new Y Girls musical on your projector. Deal? Deal. Before you go off exploring, I've assigned each of you a buddy. Shawnee, you'll be with Polly. <laughs> Nicholas, you'll be with Lila. Uh, Gabby, you're with Carrie. Trent and Brent. <laughs> no getting out of the bed now. I'll be watching you. Watching me win, you mean? That's everyone. Stick with your buddy and go learn something new. This is incredible. Who needs conspiracies when you have science? It is pretty awesome and awesomely pretty. Check out that mural. Wait a second. That's not right. Of the four Galilean moons, Io should be closer to Jupiter than Callisto. How do you know that? Don't you remember that Y Girls episode where they find the hidden alien colony? That happened on Io. Then they had to hyperbounce farther away from the main colony on... Oh! Uh... What just happened? It's with increasing unease that I have to admit that... Ooh, Nick might be onto something. No exit! We have to hide! Tiny power! How did Subject X respond to the serum? We'll need to try a higher dose. She's still got an itch on her first and fourth elbows. Oh, did you sign Daddy's birthday card? This way! I could use a good venting session. Me too! What they don't want you to know is that the queen worm candies are used as fuel for an alien species! Huh. That kid is the best paranormal investigator in this dimension! Good thing no one believes him or we'd be discovered before you could say, Chupacabra! <gasps> A body heat signature! Are those tiny humans in the air ducts? Something must have gotten out, or gotten in. Better double check it wasn't a faulty sensor before I put the whole facility on lockdown. Polly, this way. <gasps> Definitely not the observatory. We don't know what we're observing. Let's get out of here. Shall we continue? Pardon me, yeah. Have you seen anything suspicious in here? A set of miniature humans, perhaps? Uh, I'll keep looking. Oh, Kathy, that color really matches your eye. <laughs> and that's why they call it Jupiter's Eye. Now, follow me if you want to see a radioactive meteor. See, Nick? Nothing here. Well, actually, it... Uh, <laughs> nope. nuh -uh. Not falling for it. <laughs> It's unreal! What? They were lost in a secret alien lab or that Nick was right? Oh! There! We'll never find our way back! This place is a maze! If 
we could get to those computers, I bet they'd have a map. Or at least something helpful. Right. Now, where's the... Aha! Lockdown commencing in three minutes! Lockdown? We have to stop it! Uh, cancel! All right, go back! Error. Passcode invalid. Lockdown commencing in two minutes, 50 seconds. New plan. Run! Attention, agents! We have a code 1989. Tiny people have infiltrated the facility. I repeat, tiny people. Lockdown initiated. Catch them! Hurry! I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think we should have stayed with the group. I'm so bored. I wish there were aliens here. Not just aliens, Lila. They... Oh! Ha! <laughs> you almost had me. Just saying. Oh, what was that about? Ugh, they said the fire drill wasn't supposed to happen until this afternoon. Students, get your buddy, form a line, and follow me outside. Oh, be careful of the cacti. Budget cuts mean our first aid kit doesn't cover injury by succulent. Hmm. Where are Polly and Shawnee? Oh, it's Cryptid City in here. Once Nick hears about this, he'll never stop the conspiracy talk. yo -ho! Tiny intruders! I've got some bite-sized candy. Definitely a trap. Maybe that's our way out of here. Hey, is it that? Mr. Foot? Hey, little dudettes. I don't recall you being so little. No time to explain. Do you know where the exit is? Oh, yeah. Right over there. Thanks! Mm. I'm beginning to think those girls only care about my excellent sense of direction. Mermaids are real? Um, Miss Maid? <laughs> Can you help us get out of here? Look! Did, did we make it? Are we outside? Uh, not quite. Ah! Hello, welcome. My name is Captain Terrapin. <gasps> Turtles are aliens! I knew it! Hmm, human, Shaw, me, caretaker of Ensign Fit Laksu. Who you call Aesop? My pet turtle Aesop is like you? For reals? For much reals, Aesop appreciates the cantaloupe chunks you share, Shawnee. This is incredible. I want to know everything. Where did you come from? What's your mission? What? Is that alarm for you? Yeah, they put the whole place on lockdown. We have to hide until we can find a way out. Out? Indeed. We can help. No worries about the lockdown. It cannot prevent this from teleporting you out of the facility. You have a teleporter? We have a great many secrets. That is why we settled in this lab. It is an excellent place to conduct experiments and meet other life forms. W wait a second. We can't just leave. I have so many questions. You must go. Someday, all of your questions will be answered. But for now, you have many important missions ahead, Shawnee, and your loyal sidekick, Polly. Hey, I'm not a sidekick. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. What if something happened to them? Maybe they were abducted by aliens. You're starting to sound like me. I'm sure they're fine. Lila, Nicholas... Oh, that's odd. Where are Shawnee and Polly? Uh, we're out here. Uh, Polly? Shawnee? Hello, Miss Fuss. I told you to stay out of the cacti. The budget cuts. Finally, and just in time to head back to school. Oh, yes, yes, I know. But won't we have F.U. and fun writing our reports? Where were you? Did you sneak into the gift shop? Were you... Was it aliens? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! You lose, Nick. Get ready to hear me sing along to every Y-Girl song, even the ones I don't know. Y-Girl, something.
and something well, serious Well, actually... Nick is right. He is? I am? Aliens, scientists, talking turtles! Are you sure you're not pranking me? I don't prank. This is incredible! Well, did you get any proof? Of course there isn't proof! None of the best of us proof! They're too good at hiding it. I have to make a video about this as soon as we get home! You mean, after the Y Girls? You still lost the bet. How about a double feature? Say with Littleton Airport, Small Runway, Big Mysteries? But he lost the bet! I'd call it a draw. Did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> oh, I can't believe our cosmopolitan city vacation is almost over. Time flies when you're doing the bazillion things on Polly's trip list. Now there's only one thing left to do. Win a tiny boat race! Why the sudden passion of the nautical fashion? Because, Lila, the winner of this tiny boat race gets to be on the cover of We Boat Weekly. That's a weekly magazine? Yep. And this cover kid is the known bully Augustus von Uberrich. He's won the Cosmopolitan City Race 10 years in a row, and he's only 10 years old. Apparently, that's how he does it. Starboard turn! Port maneuver! Disco! I think he was going for beastly and dangerous more than... Duckies! Aww. The baby ducks do exactly what the ducks in front of them do. It's like follow the leader. Uh, hey! Augustus, dominating the race, being a bad sport, and splashing the cute duckies. Ugh. That's why I built this beauty. Ooh, fancy. Glad you like it, Lila, because you'll be piloting it. What? It'll look suspicious if the boat's driving itself. You have to pretend to pilot it with the remote so I can go pocket-sized and actually drive the boat. But isn't that against the rules? Nope. It's called the Anything Goes Tiny Boat Race. Anything goes! Now, if you need to talk to me during the race, use this earbud. It's linked directly to my genie watch. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Augustus. Name's Polly Pocket, and this is the boat that's gonna finally beat you. Oh, really? Is it called the USS in your dreams? <laughs> Please, Paula. Paula? Oh, he'll know my name once my boat wins this race. Polly, winning isn't everything. Your great-grandmother is right. It's more than everything. Hey, I'm not a great-grandmother, but I am a great comma, grandmother. Yeah, you are. And this snooty McSnooderson isn't worth my time. Which is why I'll be piloting the boat for Polly. That's right. I gotta go. Got tickets to a musical called, uh... <laughs> the Acorn King. Rumph! <laughs> Getting an employee to pilot her boat while she goes to the theater? <laughs> why didn't I think of that? Poor thing doesn't stand a chance against Augustus. You're going down. Fiddlesticks! You and Paula are the ones going in a downward direction. <laughs> Time to cut the line. <laughs> <laughs> title of the race. Oh, he's destroyed every boat but Polly's. And my paper sample! <gasps> Save your breath, Chuck. Literally. And you, pilot person, that boat will soon be toast. Joke's on you, cause I love toast. Pizza cutter! <laughs> There's only one thing a pizza cutter can't cut through, Lila. <laughs> Pizza crust! Ah. <laughs> Great thinking, Polly. Aw, you're my number one fan. Thanks, but I think that 
title belongs to your grandma. Polly's boat is number one. She knows how to get it done. Win this race and make it snappy. You can make this grandma happy. Woo! Woo-hoo-hoo! Fierce, you still got your high school cheer moves, grandma. Cheerleading is so horribly plebeian. Not a refined sport, such as fishing. <laughs> 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 Not a good idea. It's a great idea. Jeannie, call Shawnee. Polly, I'm so glad you called. Help! Yes, I do need help, Shawnee. That's why I'm calling. Monster! <laughs> yeah, Augustus is a monster, right? Wait, who's Augustus? Oh, just this bully I'm boat racing right now. Can you help me find a shortcut to beat him? I'm sending you my coordinates. Let me check out the roots while the moldy monstrous is preoccupied. Wait, what's a moldy monstrous? Oh, uh, just the seemingly sentient creation of my science experiment. Phew! If you can jump the island, there'll be a significant shortcut. Hey! Those are my only bad cubs! <gasps> is that my lip gloss? My textbook! Oh, that is the last straw, young mold! Shawnee, are you okay? Better than okay. My mold experiment has great fashion sense. I'm definitely gonna get published in Fungi Daily. <laughs> That's a daily publication? <laughs> Hi, pizza place? It happened again. your photo for senior cheerleaders hourly. That's an hourly magazine? Oh yeah. Fist bump. <laughs> That's the photo of Polly Pocket. But it acts more like a rocket. Go Polly's Bolt! A rocket, huh? Well, it's time to launch you out of this race. Hmm? A golf ball? A lot of golf balls! Raise the shield! <laughs> Woohoo! Mega Moves Polly! Woohoo! Uh, uh, I mean, me! Woohoo! Mega Moves me! <laughs> <laughs> more like, uh, more like, uh... Riders, get in here! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, that's good. Uh, somebody earned their bonus today. Get out of here! <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> More like Mega Lose. Meh. That's the last time I outsourced my trash talk to third graders! A-L-X-7 hyphen! What's that spell? Nothing. That's not a word. And that's why I pay people to spell for me. What I was trying to spell... <laughs> <laughs> Go get him, Duck Destroyer! <laughs> Super Sonic Quack! <laughs> Later, Gators! <laughs> I cannot believe I'm gonna. I can't say it, but I can. Hey, hey! Have you heard the news? Augustus is about to lose! Now, Lila, that's not how the cheer goes. It goes like, hey, hey! Have you heard the news? It doesn't matter if you win or lose. Have fun! Hey, hey, have fun! Uh, I don't like losing or fun! Ha! I'm going to win! Thanks for the support, Duck. I said thanks. Hey, no need... No! Ducky! Turn around! It's not safe! Uh, what are you doing? Augustus is catching up! You can't let him win! Winning isn't everything! What are you doing?
doing? Uh, maybe taking a shortcut? That out. Uh, where's my falconer when I need him? Go big! You're welcome, Mama Duck. Bye bye, baby. Polly, what happened? Um, well, at the Acorn King, there was the duckling who was going to go over the waterfall. And, um, the singer lady had to, um, not win the musical so she could save it? You. I lost because of your boat, your driver, and your great come, a grandma's surprisingly effective cheers. Not to mention I apparently missed an incredible musical about a duckling's daring journey. This is all your fault, Polly Pocket! Ha! You know my name, and I didn't even have to win. So nobody won? Not... <sighs> Quite! <sighs> Yaha! Yeah Yapa! Yeah you yeah, get, get that first place up! Go Tommy! I call this album Cosmopolitan City. Awesomest trip that ever awesomed! <laughs> <laughs> Holly, look! Is that Melody? Uh, nope, not a pop star. That's a guy with a lemur on his head, which is still pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. Just one? You could say we pack a uh, tiny. Lila. What she means is, thank you, Mr. Laurie. Mr. Laurie. I'm Polly Pocket, and that was the best taxi ride of the best trip of my life! Thanks! Ah, uh, you're welcome, Miss Pocket. This way, girls! Hey, Lila, do you remember when we met that cool mouse at the hotel? Yes! And that wild boat race? Yes! And when we went to that whodunit mystery dinner show, but there was a real mystery, and we had to use tiny power to track the criminal and make sure justice was served? I think you dreamed that one. Yeah. Cosmopolitan City is what dreams are made of. Got your boarding passes, girls? Paper ticket? Uh, so vintage. Did you natives here, right, Polly? <gasps> My phone! I must have left it in the taxi! It's okay, don't worry, Polly. You can print your boarding pass, then we'll call the taxi lost and found. I'm sure that nice Mr. Lorry will turn it in when he finds it. But what if he keeps it? Or someone else finds it first? Would you ever leave someone hanging like that? No, of course not. Exactly. So you can believe in the goodness of others. I believe it would be a travesty to lose all those photos. And what would someone think if they saw a pic of us shrunken down beside a real live mouse? Can we check if that taxi is still outside, Grandma? Sure. I'm heading into the terminal to get one of those world-famous Cosmopolitan City cheese and meat tubes before we board, which is in 40 minutes, by the way. So be quick. Meet you at the gate. There it is! Yellow with black checks! Lila, they all look like that. But ours had the llama bobblehead, so we gotta find that little llama. We need a bird's eye view. Tiny power! <sighs> I hate when you're literal. I cannot lose my job today. He dropped his badge. Yeah, like you dropped your phone in a taxi that's getting farther away by the minute. Right. But I can't leave him hanging like that. Pigeons, you wait here. Lila, you're on distraction duty. Huh? What in the world? Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> How did this... Nah. Ah! Where did you come from? A master never reveals her secrets. Well, okay, if you insist. So first... No time for secrets. We have to get my baby. Er, I mean, phone! Llama! Oh, Llama Bobblehead, where are you? Okay, we got this, Frank. What? I can sense he's a Frank. We have a connection. Come on, Frank. You heard her. Let's go Bernice! <laughs> Cassandra? Noah? Zoe? Frank? Huh, two pigeons named Frank. What are the odds? Frank's away! not getting any closer to your phone. I know! Not a llama bobblehead in sight! Ah! <laughs> oh, gross! <sighs> I can't believe the Franks almost ate us! I can't believe I'm gonna smell like a cheese and meat tube for the whole flight! Oh no! The plane is gonna be boarding soon! Where is my phone? You know what they say to do in situations like this? No, what? Well, I don't know. That's why I asked you. There, there. <gasps> there! Holy, look! Help! Run away, cheese and meat tube caught! <gasps> Wrong way! The taxi is that way! But that lady's in trouble. I can't leave her hanging. Tiny power! Thank you, young man. I can't see a thing without them. Ah, oh, for the love of cheese. I only had two more payments on that cart. Good going on the good deed and all, but that taxi's gone. I know what we should do. Ask Shawnee what we should do. Come on, girl with the answers. Answer! Hi! You're just in time. I finally got my moldy monsters under control. We got off on the wrong foot, but we're celebrating our new friendship with pedicures. Feed in. Um, congratulations? But listen, how do we track Polly's phone? Oh, that's easy. I made this Discover My Divas app that I put on all our phones. Let's see here. Oh, looks like it's across the street from you. <gasps> there it is! You up for a little danger? I could pow chop danger in the kneecaps. Let's do it. Tiny power! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, nailed that landing. What now, Shawnee? It's at your six o'clock. That must be our llama. Phone, come to Polly. My puppy! Someone grab her! exists in 13 places at once. <laughs> Sorry, Discover My Divas is still in its beta phase. Aww. That's okay, Shawnee. We gotta get to the airport or we'll miss our flight. Well, that was stressful. But at least now I can get back to a relax. <gasps> what? Where did... Oh no, the soap! It was antibacterial. 
After all the time we shared together. Cruel, cruel world! I'll never forget you, Moldy Monstrous. But I still have the mold spores. I can create another you! To the lab! <laughs> Printed my boarding pass, like the lame pre-phone days. Now we just have to get through... Security? We'll never make it in time. But we have to try. Hey, isn't that the guy I fooled with my secret cone moves earlier? Holy Pocket. Wait a minute. You girls can't get in this line. What? But we have to get home. You gotta head to the pre-check line if you're gonna make your flight. Come on. For real? Am I that charming? Huh. <laughs> I had some good luck today, and I'm ready to pass it on. <laughs> Which gate is it? <laughs> 252, and we're at... Four! <laughs> There's Grandma! I'm sorry. We'll have to give their seats away. Don't give away my window seat! Oh, Polly! Lila, you're here! Did you find your phone? No, we... Polly Pocket! My phone! Some taxi driver was looking for you. I told him I'd try to find you before your flight left. Thank you so much! Seems like it's a good day for both of us. It's seriously amazing you got your phone back. See? You can count on the goodness of others. You wouldn't leave someone hanging. It's true. She would not leave a single human or adorable pooch in trouble. Huh. Goodness does come around. Thank goodness for your goodness. <laughs> Should we take a selfie to commemorate this moment? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone seen my charger? <laughs> Today is the big ant fair day, my little antlings. I know you're nervous, Jennifer, but don't worry. I've been studying the complete ant fair guide of 21 for weeks. <clears throat> ant farming is the bee's knees. This is not the place for razzle-dazzle, but hard-snouted serious science. Stick to the rules and you'll be the cat's pajamas. You're right, Jamal. That is a strange way to put it. But I'm as hard-snouted and serious about science as can be, so I'm ready to win that blue ribbon. Judges? An ant mansion? And it's haunted? That's step kick step ball change! Not step kick step step kick! An ant stage monitor? Returning ant fair champion! Available for selfies! Last year's champion? I couldn't agree more, Aaron. This is nothing like the guide said. Whoa! Picking the 1921 guide to train your ants, huh? That was the year of the centennial, right? What? I thought it was 2021! This book is a hundred years old! I can't do this! I know how much this competition means to you, but maybe I can make it up to you next year. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Shawnee. Sorry I didn't call earlier. I was making this micro theme park for us to hang in, and I accidentally glued it to my hand. How's the ant fair going? Oh, bad. I'm not competing anymore. Not competing? But if you don't compete, you can't win. And if you don't win, you can't scavu. Bless you. Not a chew, scavu. S-C-A-V-U. It's what they call it when someone takes the blue ribbon in the science, chemistry, ant, vocabulary, and ukulele fairs. All you need to scavu is that ant fair blue ribbon. But I'm not prepared. I can't compete with these other ant farms. They're so extra. Extra, you say? I'll be there faster than you can name your ants. Okay, well... Paul, Jennifer, Jamal, Dan, Brian, Brent, Thomas Jr., Thomas Jr., Jr., unrelated. Hey, Shawnee! Ah! Behold, your new secret weapon. I don't know, Polly. Rides, games, a circus tent. You needed extra, and this is extra! Turns out a tiny theme park for humans can also be a tiny theme park for blue ribbon winning ants. Now, let's get you the scavu. Gesundheit. She didn't sneeze. She means. <gasps> Whoa, nice ant farm. Yep. 
if you like that, just wait until you see what my ants do for the tiny talent portion. Tiny talent? <laughs> but that wasn't in the book! Yeah, that's because they added it in 76. 76? Oh, you're pretending to be clueless. You can psych me out before the ant knowledge knockdown. Well, I've got news for you. This ain't my first ant rodeo. That was last year's ant farm theme. Wait, ant knowledge knockdown? That's part of the competition? Not ready, quitting, going home. Shani, wait, you can't quit. You know more about ants than anyone. Plus, your ants love you. You have to lead them to victory. Is it true, my little antlings? You want me to keep going? I think that's a yes. Good morning, Ant Fairies. Are you ready to get Ant Awesome? Yes. <laughs> it's time for the Ant Knowledge Knockdown. All contestants, please report to the stage. But I'm not ready. We've got this. I'll teach them something to demo while you show your smarts. Thanks, Polly. All right, you little ant things and majigs. Let's put on a show. Welcome, contestants. Why don't you tell us a bit about yourselves? I'm Amelia Ann Anson, and I love ants so much, I legally changed my last name. <laughs> they call me Mora, and my ants are so cool. It's scary. Hey, Anton. Last year's winner? I'm Jay, the creator of the Ant Night Boot Camp Training System. <laughs> oh, right. I'm Shawnee, and I <laughs> am Shawnee. Tiny power! <laughs> we don't have much time to practice, so listen up. For the demo, our backup dancers will ride on the teacup doing a simple wave while our star performers exit the circus tent and do a dance number. Let's get started. To the nearest thousand, how many total species of ants? 12,000 species. That's correct. The bullet ant, a booyah. Trap jaw and straw moves up to 140 miles per hour. Correct. Excuse me, ants. I have a whole choreographed plan I need to teach you, and I can't do that when you're. Oh. Hi there. I love the enthusiasm, but I was thinking less bumpy. <laughs> Whoa. Um. But if this is how you dance, hey, what's happening? Help! Ants don't have ears. They. They hear through vibrations. What is the... Largest ant's nest ever found was over 3,700 miles wide! Correct again, Shawnee! At the end of the Ant Knowledge Knockdown, our current leader is Shawnee Smith. But all of that can change as we take a closer look at your ant farms and judge your six-legged friends on their tiny talents. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry I offended you! I don't know what I did wrong! Antlings, what's going on here? Johnny, help! Jamal, how could you? I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I guess I should have told you Polly was a friend, not an invader. Thanks. Go big! <laughs> Polly, what happened? I was counting on you to teach them some tiny talents. I'm sorry, Shawnee. I couldn't teach them anything. Their hearts just weren't in it. Well, duh, Polly. Ants don't have hearts. They have dorsal aortas. Hello, contestants. Get ready. We're coming around to grade your ant farms while also judging you and your ants on their tiny talents. Let's begin with Mora and her amazing fire ants. <laughs> Yeah, nothing burns you, for you are the fire, and the fire is you! Thanks for your help, Polly, but my ants don't have anything to demonstrate, so it's over. <laughs> Thanks, sweets, but it's useless. You can't quit, Shawnee. You have something that none of the other contestants have. Overactive sweat glands? Um, no. The ability to go micro and teach your ants faster than anyone else. There are three more demonstrations to get through. You have plenty of time. 
Ha! We have a cheater alert. Code Ladybugs! <laughs> Think we wouldn't notice? It's not my fault. Ants don't listen. And Ladybugs are so easy to train. Ladybugs are born to step ball change. They look... Okay. <laughs> Two more demonstrations. You really think I can do it? It doesn't matter what I think. They believe in you. Now go teach them. Tiny Power, Shawnee! Yeah. Hello, Aaron. Good to see you, Jennifer. All right, my little antlings. I know this isn't what we prepared for, but I believe in you, just like you believed in me. Together, we can put on the show of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> me, even after they weren't so nice to you. It's okay. We just needed to have a heart to dorsal aorta, and now we see Ida... Shawnee Smith. <laughs> you blew us away in the ant knowledge knockdown. And we love the creativity you put in the ant farm. A plus. But can you repeat it in the demonstration? Here we go, antlings. Five, six, seven, eight. The start of the day, my chances were all so low. I looked your way, my heart said to me, I know You'll never let me down or be late Cause you carry 50 times your weight Your blood is cold, your queen's so bold Now there's nothing I can do I believe in me because of you From your mandibles to all your six legs too Bless you. And the blue ribbon winner is... Shawnee Smith! <laughs> you did it, Shawnee! You scav-earned many blue ribbons. And I couldn't have done it without you, Polly. Oh. <laughs>